Well, thanks, Punchwood. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. What are you trying to say? Yeah, I grew up with a joystick. I had Atari 2600 as a kid. Back in the 70s and the 80s. Of course I know how to use a joystick. Finally, I have a spoon. I've been eating my cereal with my fingers for the past month and a half. Although, maybe I shouldn't use this spoon. It's a little rusty. Yeah, I better not. I haven't had my tetanus shot in a while, so... Anyway, welcome back to Stardew Valley. <laughs> so let's check out this standing geode furniture. It can be placed inside your house. We got this as a reward from uh, Gunther, right? Oh, it's awesome. It's like a big geode sliced open. Really cool. Okay, well then. Let's get down to brass tacks. We have a whole day ahead of us. And it looks like tomorrow's going to be beautiful and sunny. Today is also beautiful and sunny. Spirits are in good humor today. I think we'll have a little extra luck. That's nice. And, oh, check it out. A new episode of Living Off the Land with Farmer Green Beans. You got a spa in your town? Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, oh, feels good, don't it? What the heck are you talking about, Mr. Green Beans? A spa has nothing to do with farming. That guy's lost it. Oh, check it out. We have mail. Oh, my gosh, corn! Corn and mail. What do I do? Uh... Let's beat on a drum and go get it. But wait, no, no, let's check the mail first. <laughs> Hi, Wilson. Oh, it's from uh, Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. So, okay, this is what I had expected to get last night after having passed out in the fields at 2 o'clock in the morning. Dear Mr. Pudgewood, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed 556 gold for this service? He Gads, that's like 10% of what I had. 10% <laughs> copay? That's outrageous. Don't they have Obamacare here in Stardew Valley? I need better health care. Uh, whatever. All right, let's get situated here for the day. Uh, we have lots to do. And not a lot of time to do it. Our first summer corn harvest. Mmm, sweet and delicious and hopefully no worms oh check it out it's beautiful two golden star belly corns three silver star belly corns and seven normal not so special corns but i still love you okay <laughs> let's put the golden star belly corns away with the other golden star bellies and i think we need that for one of the yeah, quality crops bundle right here. Yeah, five golden starbelly corns, among some other things, too. Oh, fantastic. All right, guys, I'm just going to do the normal farming routine here for the morning. Harvesting, watering, all that jazz. But you know what? Let's put this uh, sprinkler down. It's a quality sprinkler. It waters the adjacent eight tiles every morning, so all eight tiles around it, right? So that's going to be fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't really have an ideal spot for it, but this will get at least six um, crops watered, right? So that'll take some of the some of the strain off me in the morning, which is nice. And again, let me just uh, let me just do this routine, and I'll be right back. Hang tight. Don't go away. Let's give Wilson a little love. Hi, boy. Good to see you. I gotta spend a little time with Wilson. I don't get to see him very often. And now let's go check out the bat cave. Demetrius set this up for bats, right? And they drop off fruits. They sure do. Oh, there's the eyes. Look at them. Oh, that's so cool. We got our own bat cave. And they dropped off a sp two spice berries? Two spice berries, silver star belly spice berry berries, and a salmon berry. Big deal. Could you guys bring me something I don't have? Oh, look, there they go, flying around. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I love it. I got a bat cave. Sweet. Okay. And now, let's get out of here. Let's boogie. Let's get to town real quick. Say hi to some folks. Maybe give a couple of gifts. Oh, look, a grape. And then uh, we'll check the bulletin board. And then I think I'm just going to go mining. Although, actually, we got to go uh, give this rusty spoon to Gunther. See if he can identify it. Oh, we have a help wanted sign. It is Pierre. I'd like to put a gold bar into my pillow. Please deliver it sometime today. Today? One day? What? One day. Two days. All right, two days. A gold bar. I guess I can buy five gold, but it might not be worth it if it's more than 750 gold. 
But I would like to get to level 40 today, at least get to like the iron area. That's where the iron be- Oh! Leah! Leah, hello! You doing some shopping? I found some wild fruits this morning. Oh, I did too! I found a grape on the road! Sorry, I don't have any left. Oh, that's okay, because I have one for you. It's a golden star belly. Uh, actually, no, have some corn instead. I might keep that. <laughs> this is a really nice gift! Well, thanks. I hope you like it. Uh, hi, Caroline. We're, I'm just having a private chat with Le No, I'm not. Never mind. Wait, stop. Where are you running? Why are you running from me? Abigail loves chocolate cake. Ooh, she keeps a box of it under her bed. Weird, huh? Yes, it is, actually. It's kind of weird. Here, have some corn. I'm just going to give this stuff away. Hey, stop. Oh, goodness. Are you sure I am? Goodbye. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to buy anything. I want to get to those mines. And look at my... Oh, man, look at me. Ooh. Uh, I am so pooped. All right, anyway, let's, um, let's run over to Gunther's real quick. And see if he can identify this mysterious artifact. Oh, Haley, hello. I'm going to get such a nice tan this summer. You better hurry, because summer's almost over. Here, have a sweet pea. <gasps> For me? Yep, five hearts with the hailster. Nice. Let's say hi to Alex. Even though he's always grumpy. Hey, Farmer Guy, you look a little burnt. <laughs> farmer Guy? <laughs> I have a name, you know. The more I practice this summer, the easier it'll be for me to go pro. Pro what? Wise Guy? Yeah. Sure. Whatever, kid. Gunther! I have a very odd-looking device. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put it down here. And then uh, maybe you can investigate it. And he's not going to give me anything for it. I'd go look at it, but it takes too much time to get over there. Well, let's just go see how much gold is at Clint's. Three o'clock already. Where does the time go, Clint? Shop. 400 for gold ore? Uh, nope. Never mind. Bye. All right. Well, we're clearly not going to be buying the gold ore to sell it. Because according to my calculations, that would be a major loss. <laughs> oh, wormies. Ah, sees wormies. Bloop. Oh, a book. What do we got? The Lost Book. It'll be added to the library's collection. We'll go check that out later. Oh, everybody says buy a silo before the coop. But I didn't even see that I could. Oh, hey, Lewis, you shopping here? Robin's the Carpenters, huh? Gardening is a hobby of mine, so I'm excited for this warm weather. Oh, good. I'm excited, too. Would you like a sweet pea? I'm going to give it to uh, yeah, Robin. You like sweet peas? Yes, he does. Good. Okay, I now have access to Robin's room. <laughs> You can make a lot of things out of wood. Ooh, what are you trying to say, girl? Let me get back on the other side of the counter. You're starting to scare me. Okay. Construct farm buildings. Oh, there's arrows. I didn't see these. Barn. Whoa, wow. Look at the prices. A well. And here it is, the silo. So, yeah, we can afford this. It's very cheap. But well, we got to get a, a hundred stone, ten clay, and five copper bars. Okay. And a stable. We, uh, we gotta get a horse. Oh, the horse is included with the stable. Oh, man, I want a horse. I can cruise around town on a horsey? Oh, sweet. All right, thanks. Bye, Robin. All right, let's go. Let's go mine. Linus, what up? Oh, Abigail. Uh, Abby. Abby, Abby, Abby. What can I give old Abby here? How about a topaz? Oh, no, I'm gonna give that to the dwarf. Hey, Abigail. Hi, I'm just gonna say hi. I don't really have anything for you. My pet guinea pig, David, just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Oh, David's weird. Oh, probably because he has fur. Can't you shave him or something? Probably not. Bye, Abigail. I have nothing for her. Because if I gave her the topaz, she'd try to eat it anyway. Hey, Linus. I hope you're having a good day. I haven't spoken with him in a while. Maybe we'll catch him on the way back. We'll slip into his tent and just say hi. Let's go see the dwarf. I'm going to give him this uh, topaz. Hello, buddy. Elon, Right. Maybe this will make you feel better. I see a heart up there. Likes it, I think, but still no hearts with this guy. Man, you are a tough knuckle to crack. <laughs> Never mind. It's an expression. Uh, dwarves these days. All right, let's head down. I'm going to to level 35. And I think I'm going to eat <laughs> a field snack. That doesn't really do much for you. Uh, where are my torches? I made a bunch of torches here. I see 
something down here. This is a hassle because you got to put the torches down to pick them right back up again. Nothing that way. Oh, there's somebody right here. Hello! Don't move. It's like a stone man. He doesn't fight back, but they drop coal, sometimes um, ores. So it's definitely worth slaughtering them. Oh, earth gem. Nice. Two earth crystals. Oh, my foraging is kicking in. That's why I'm getting extras. Right, our foraging. We're a forager now. Gatherer. I picked that skill. Chance for double harvest of foraged items. Oh, that's fantastic. So that's why we're getting extras. And rancher here. Animal products worth 10% more. Fisher. We can sell fish for 25% more. We need to do more fishing. Cool. We'll probably get some combat experience today, too, if we keep all this up. I'm going to kill these bums for a ladder. Is there a ladder here somewhere? Ow. Oh, the, oh wait. They do They do hurt. They don't come at you. They're not aggressive, but if you touch them, it does damage. Dude. 37. We need a few more to go to get the 40. And that's where the iron grows. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, see that? The guy, that dude dropped iron. Very nice. Got a geode, but no ladder. You know what? I'm just gonna uh, make one. Just make one. Oh, look at this. We have train track here. Can I get coal? Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, bat, bat, bat. Get him. So, uh, this is level 38. Come on, somebody make me a ladder. Somebody, ooh, what is this stuff? It's really dark. Okay, 39. Level 39. We're not going to make it, guys. It's too late. Oh, darn. It's 1230. I need one ladder. One more ladder to get to 40. Come on. There it is. 40. We did it. It's 1240 in the morning. Open it up quick. What is it? It's a slingshot. Ooh, a ranged weapon. <laughs> cool. Slingshot requires stones for ammo. Perfect. We got a ranged weapon now. That's awesome. Now listen to that scary sound, but I got to get out of here. I do not want to pay another copay today. No way, Jose. To the bottom. Oh, we got this quest. So far, there's no sign to the bottom. How low does it go? All right. I don't think we're going to have time to stop in and see Linus. I'm not going to make it again. I'm going to... Oh. Run, Punchwood! We can make it! We can make it! Leave the jelly! Leave the copper bar! Just run and get to bed and make sure I get everything set for the night. I think I do. Alright, yeah, we'll look at this stuff in the morning. Hop into bed. Good night, Wilson. Let's see what we got here. For the endeth of the 15th of summerth, year 1th, and 635 gold. No copay tonight, thank goodness. And, oh, that's it. Okay. Ah, oh, heck, let's just keep going, shall we? Let's get two days into one episode, and I'll just do some cutting to make it uh, all nice-nice to be about 20, 25 minutes or so. Spirits are very happy today. Ooh, good fortune coming our way, which is fantastic because we have two geodes to open. And uh, maybe we'll do some fishing today. I don't know. Let's head outside. And see what the day has got in store for us. All right. Yeah, obviously the jellies that we ran right by. A melon jelly. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Let's just chuck it in there for now. And what else should we make? How about some more grape jelly? Because that way maybe... Oh, no. Let's make a blueberry jelly. Yeah, sure. I think we're going to sell some stuff today, actually. Um, some of these jams and jellies and other things. We'll bring it right into town and sell it at Pierre's. I'm just curious to see what we get from a direct sell rather than dumping it into the bin over there. Might not be any different at all, I don't know. But we'll find out. Uh, Alright, well, you know what, let me just do the whole routine. You know the routine. Oh! Ooh, honey, the bees made honey! It's wild honey from wild flowers. So it won't be as valuable as uh, honey from like, uh, like a poppy or something like that. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? Awesome. Well, that's great because, again, we are the pickler, the preserver, and the honey guys, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, anyway, all right, let me just get organized here, and we'll be on our way 
And also check this out. Looks like this thing actually works. I wasn't sure because there's no animation, but it did water these uh, these six crops. Very cool. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm done with the farming chores. It's just about 1130. Hanging outside the bat cave here with Wilson. And now let's check to see what the bats brought. Oh, oh, cherries. Those are cherries. Those are cherries. Oh, awesome. And a, a wild plum. Two wild plums and two cherries. And these are golden star wild plums. Perfect. I've not seen either of these fruits before. So it looks like the bats may be panning out. All right, good. I think, um, actually, I think those might even go to the community center. Yep, right here. Cherries in the artisan bundle in the pantry. So that's where we're headed. Hey, what the heck is that? Somebody brought me some sheets. It's cloth. Oh, I got that from a soggy newspaper. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's grab the iron bar. Let's just chuck the cloth in here, I guess, for now. I don't know what the heck to do with it. Maybe, uh, maybe do some sewing or something. All right, let's get out of here. Let's throw the soggy newspaper in there. Maybe we get some more cloth. And by the way, I did water my star fruit seed this time around. Bye, Wilson. He looks so sad because I forgot um, yesterday. So I'm sure some of you guys... Oh, look, a grape. Had noticed that and we're face palming and all the usual stuff. All right, we're heading into town. First stop is Pierre's. I want to try selling some of my preserves and see what they're worth. Tomorrow is Sam's birthday. Let's try not to forget that. And, whoa, oh, oh, hold on. Something's happening here. Oh my gosh, I'm sneaking into Abigail's room and she's playing a video game. <laughs> she's steamed and she's sweaty. Uh, hi, Abigail. The, the door was open. Punchwood. Yeah, um, sorry to walk in on you like this. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. No, I wasn't sneaking. The door was open. <sighs> so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I was uh, the Prairie King master back in uh, seventh grade. So let me just come around here. Can I have that controller there, please? All right, what is this now? Oh, this is the one in the bar. The saloon. Yeah, okay, so I'm... Oh, I'm the red guy, or pink guy, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and Abby's green. Oh, this is green. Here they come. <laughs> All right, I got the top. You get the right and left and bottom. <laughs> oh, what's that? Skull face. Get it, get it, get it. I got it, I got it. What does it do for me? Uh, there's like power-ups. Oh, my God. I, Abby, I thought that was you. I'm sorry. I shot that... Oh, I ran into that guy. Okay, so let's, let's focus here, Abby. We got to do this. Oh, look at them all. Oh, coffee, coffee. I got the coffee. I got the coffee. Got it. Oh, super speed. Look at me. Woohoo. Oh, Abby, we're doing great. I'll get you past that first level. No probs. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Ammo. I got it. Oh, it's a machine gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. All I have to do is hold down the button. In the right direction, hopefully. Ah, Abby! Help me. Down to one. One life left to live, Abigail. Here they come. I think there's some um, one-ups on this, too, so maybe we can get a one-up. All right, do something, Abigail. Shoot. It seems like I'm doing all the work here, girl. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. One-up, 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 one-up. Got one. Whew. All right, extra life. Extra life for me, Abby. This is so cool. I'm like, literally playing the game with uh, Abigail, who does not actually exist. But it feels like she does. Well, what's this? Wow, power-up. Zap. What am I? Oh, I'm super-powered. I'm like a scarecrow, zombie scarecrow or something, maybe. Oh, they don't come out. They can't come out because I'm so super powered. Hey, I was going for the machine gun. All right, how long is this going to take? Seriously, <laughs> I've got things to do. <laughs> Abby, I can't stay here and play video games with you all day. I've got work to do. It's like Monday or Tuesday. It's, my, it's work day for me, kid. We did it. Hey, we did it. Yahoo! Shoot your gun in the air, girl. Awesome. Hey, that was fun. It sure was. Well, thanks, Punchwood. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. W what are you trying to say? Yeah, I grew up with a joystick. I had Atari 2600 as a kid back in the 70s and the 80s. Of course I know how to use a joystick. <laughs> hey, Abigail, you're awesome with a joystick, too. Here, have this crystal. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. She does love crystal. 
Pierre, I've got some stuff for you. Uh, let's sell some things. I've got, um, I want to sell the melon jelly. 550 gold! <laughs> Whoa, okay, act, just act cool. Be cool. Poker face, man, poker face. 550 gold. Uh, well, I guess I'll settle for that, Pierre, sure. 210 for my pickled potatoes. <laughs> awesome. Man, this is why I want to be the pickler dude. So grape jelly is only 210. Wild honey is 100. Um, yeah, the rest of this stuff we're going to actually give to the community center, so I don't want to sell it. Wow, 500 for the melon jelly. That's fantastic. Okay, pleasure doing business with you, bro. I got to go. All right, I'll come around and say hi, though. Did you know that my daughter loves pumpkin? Ooh, everybody's opening up to me, telling me about how much Abigail loves things like chocolate cake and stuff like that. I did not know that, but thanks thanks for the tip. We'll have to grow some pumpkins. Oh, look at all the ladies doing Zumba. Zumba day. Zumba day. <laughs> I just have to go say hi to everyone here doing Zumba. Oh, look at you. You're killing it with the 80s uh, headband. You're so excited you just can't hide it, right? All right, up to the community center. And let's go to the pantry, I think it is. Artisan bundle. A cherry. Bloop. And what else? It's all like, oh, honey. Will they take my wild honey? Oh, they'll take my wild honey. And my grape jelly? Perfect. Wow. Oh, cloth. Here's the cloth and the artisan bundle, you dang dummy. So now I know where the cloth goes. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I've got corn. And a yam for the fall crops bundle. So we are way ahead of the game. We just need an eggplant and a pumpkin, which we will grow in the fall. Oh, here we go. Dye bundle for the red mushroom. And oak resin for the enchanter. M. Rasmodius wizard. Excellent. And I think that's all I have for you little guys today. See you next time. All right, let's go process these geos, and we gotta hustle because it's. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna make it. Oh no, Clint closes at four, and the spirits are in such good mood today. Clint, wait, 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 wait. No, it's four o'clock right now. Open up. So much for small town service, Clint. Just for that, I'm gonna go through your trash. Field snack. So there, run. There's like not a cloud in the sky today. I know it's a beautiful day. What? Where's Alex? How can you buy ice cream? Are you stealing stuff? Penny! Penny, hello! Maybe now that my mother has her bus driving job back, I can start saving more money. Things are looking a little brighter. Wait, what do you mean she has her bus driver job back? I was supposed to help her get that back. I was gonna try to gain point. Wait! Wait, Penny! Here, I'd like, to, I'd like you to have this earth crystal. It came right out of the earth. It's very special. Does that mean the bus is now open? Hey, kids! Vindog, come here. I bet Vindog would like a crystal from the earth. My mom won't let me have any more gummies today. Kid, that's the only thing you ever think about is gummies. Here, play with this rock. Came out of the ground. For me? Wow, thanks. You bet. <laughs> Fun with it. And for Jazz, I'm going to give her this sweet pea right here. She, everybody loves Oh, it's a golden sweet pea. No, I'm not. Okay, uh, Jazz, have here, take this. I love presents. Thank you. Wow, three hearts with a little kid. <laughs> Let's go to the ocean and do some ocean fishing. It's 5.30. We have some time. And maybe look around for some shells and make some more bucks. I don't really have time to go up to the mines as much as I enjoy the mines. Oh, hey, Sam. What you doing here on the beach, brother? Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Sam, he's such a good kid, Sam. Goodbye for now. Oh, you don't like compliments, though. That's fine. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. I hear it's a big day for you tomorrow. Hey, who, look who's here. It's Leah. Simple things in life are best. A soft summer breeze, majestic clouds, and a goblet full of stardew red. Oh, I couldn't agree anymore. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a goblet red. Red go- what? <laughs> hey, you want to see something cool? Watch this. Look what I have. It's a slingshot. Bling! Let's see if I can put this right over Sam's head. Watch. A pretty good shot, right? Let's go shoot seagulls. Come on, let's shoot seagulls. Oh, there's worms. Let's go get the worms. So the slingshot's pretty cool, but it's kind of hard to aim. Oh, another book. That's two new books. I found a lost book. All right, maybe we'll go check the library. But if, you know what I want to do? I want to fish right here next to Leah. Um, Leah. I bet Leah would enjoy a grape. Leah, since you don't have any wine, 
How about a grape to make some of your own? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh, see ya, Sam. Easy peasy. It's a halibut. Ah, uh, perfect night, wouldn't you say, Leah? Doesn't get much better than this. You know, Leah, that whack job on the TV said the spirits were in good humor today. And I was gonna get lucky. I, I mean, fishing! Lucky fishing! But look at this, I've got driftwood, broken pair of glasses, broken CDs, Joja Cola, <laughs> seaweed, and now a soggy newspaper. So much for getting lucky, huh? Oh, here we go. Wait a minute, I got one. Whoa, it's a jumper! Oh no, I'm gonna lose him. <sighs> the one fish I want, I lost. Leah, it's getting late. I gotta go home, the street lights are on. Um, can I walk you home? Uh, you sure. Uh, okay. Bye. Wow, she's staying out here late past midnight. I wonder if there's something going on with her between uh, her and Elliot. Smelly Elliot. Oh gosh. Maybe she was just waiting for me to leave all that time. It's possible. Very possible. 1 a.m. We're gonna be cutting it close yet again. Gonna go right to bed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's just see if we get any upgrades. Here endeth the 16th of Summerith, year 1th. We made 779 gold, not too shabby. And anything good? Nothing. Nothing. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.